Hi, I'm Connie. Welcome to my channel, Connie from Up North. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. So today, I am in a collaboration with the Self Love Sisterhood. And I'll link all the girls' channels down below. But what we're doing today is a tribute to our fathers. So if you want to see what I do with this Father's Day collaboration and tribute to my dad, stay right there. My dad was such an avid hunter. He really loved to go out and hunt, and he'd hunt deer, he'd hunt coyote, he'd hunt different animals, and uh, he also liked to fish. He, he liked to fish a lot. So today I'd like to pay tribute to my dad with this Father's Day collaboration by doing something a little bit different. So I'm gonna take this palette here. This is a Y by NYX. This is the Conceal Correct Contour. And I'm gonna do a look in camouflage, like if I was going hunting. So I'm gonna show you how I would do that and why I'm going to color some of the areas that I'm going to color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to decrease, eliminate the features that are prominent. I want them to stand back. So what I'm talking about is right here across my brow bone, you see that that protrudes, my nose protrudes, and my cheekbones protrude. I want everything to be flat, to look like it's flat in the woods. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the darkest color and you know how shading, how that makes it look deeper. So I want to hide my forehead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just rub this dark across my forehead like so and get that all there on my by my brows and make sure I cover it real good. You know, you don't want your skin to really shine through. That's what you're trying to camouflage. So then you can see that I brought my forehead down. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to color. I'm going to make, you wanna make your, your face look as flat as possible. So I'm taking that part of my nose that protrudes. And I'm going to see how that, you don't see my nose as well now. Talk about a brown noser, eh? Huh. So then I'm gonna take my cheekbones and I want those. See how that makes them sort of, they don't stick out as much. See the difference between See how the one side, this side looks a lot flatter than that because I'm taking the high portions of my face and I am shadowing them down. Now I'm going to do that with this cheek. I'm going to I could have done this with the sponge, I guess, but So let's go under here. You see where that cheekbone sticks up right there. So, and then get this side too, right under the eye. So the next place I'm gonna go to that sticks out, where do you see it? What is it? Right there, my chin. So I'm gonna do just a line right there from my lip. And then also over here on my cheek. Cause 
because if you're in the woods, you don't want the critters to see you. And you also do other things, like if you have shininess on your guns, you might put a little bit of burlap around it. You might put some paint on the shiny areas of the uh, of your uh, um, paint where it's or the metal where it's real shiny. You'll paint that down. Make sure that nothing makes any noise. The next thing that I'm going to do, you see that I have all of the areas that stick up. So the next color that I'm going to go for is, I think I'm going to go for the color right underneath here. And I'm going to fill in. I'm going to, and I'll use a different finger. You want to blend them well. So I'm going to go right here. Let's start just above my forehead. And this would work for, these colors would work like if you're hunting in the fall and you want to kind of blend into the tree or you want to you want to blend into some of the brush. The main thing is what you're trying to do, what you're trying to do is make your face appear flat. So we're going to go right here. I'll probably put some of this dark in here as well. And you want to cover everything. So yeah, this is, make sure that you get around the eyes, blend it in. Knowing that you're going for that big buck. That 10 pointer. And you don't want him to see you before you see him. So then you're going to go down here. Get up there on the top lip. You can see that my face is going flat. That's what you want. You want that whole that whole look of going flat. Get rid of those features. And you don't want to just paint it like one color because then it becomes just that doesn't work. You still have those features, so you need the shading. You need the shading of the different colors, and make sure you get your cauliflowers, too. I mean, your ears. <laughs> and... Now, you can paint your... I could go all the way and paint my... Uh, paint my hands too, but I won't put you through that. So get your ears. Let those earlobes stick out, put a little bit of dark on that. See, my ears disappeared. So put some over here. So if I went in the woods, a lot of times people will think that they have to paint a camouflage pattern on their face, but actually that, I mean, I'm not saying that their technique is bad, but the whole purpose is you want to flatten yourself out. You want to flatten your, your whole face out and make it blend into where they can't see your face. So... You can see what I've done. I'll touch this up here. All the high parts on my face. 
I flatten that out with this dark. Blend it all in so that it blends seamlessly and you don't have streaks. Blend that in. Blend that nose into the rest. Blend that in. You want to blend it together. Make sure you get those cauliflower ears. Put a couple streaks down there, but blend them. You don't want it like a straight line. You don't want that to stick out, but you just want your face to sort of disappear. So yeah, make sure you get that in your nose. And then I blend this a little bit more up here. And I think I'm ready to put some camouflage on and go hunting. So yeah, this is my tribute to my dad is that I wanted to do a look where I would, before I went hunting, I would do camouflage, and I wanted to use our cosmetic products to show that you could do that. So, this is my fall camouflage hunting look. Put on a hat and some camouflage, and I'll be right back. Hey, here I am over here, just in case you can't see me with my camouflage on. This is what I would do. Well, maybe I'd wear a different hat. This one shines, shows up a little bit, but this is what felt right to me about doing a tribute to my dad for a makeup look, is to go ahead and do the camouflage that I used to uh, watch my dad do as I, all the years I was growing up and he'd go hunting. He'd put some of the camouflage paint on. So here's to you, dad. Love you and miss you. And uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers, and make sure you give your dad a hug because it's uh, you sure miss him when you can't do that. So, anyway, love you all. Peace.